And because it feels like the middle of winter, I feel like it's time to do a rant at the start of this video. But we've got one flip flap toy to review here, and I'm just being... Uh, no, maybe I could just call out with a call that you would literally find it very easy to know. Well, you know what? That's just great. I released all that warmer and it's trapped with nowhere to go. <sighs> I don't know, but you know what? I think I'm just going to close the window here. And this is basically the most ritual of all things I always do when it's so cold outside. But anyways, let's just take a look at this putter here. Without doing any jump cuts, it's this one here. It's a herring and lesser blackback girl versus Big Starfish Brawl 12 pack, which has a very expensive price of £21. And it's a Generation 97 toy, which I think is not really a big bummer. So I wouldn't say that it's a very bad product. But before we start to do this toy view, a single toy view as I call it, if I go from my computer here, look at this bloody temperature here. Minus one degree Celsius, can you believe that? And you can also take a look at, also tonight here, bloody two degrees Celsius, I mean minus two degrees Celsius, can you just bloom me look at that? That is just pathetic. I mean, just give me a break. I don't know why I'm just ranting in the whole video, but tomorrow is sunny. But look at the blooming temperatures there. They're not even warming up now. Now, the reason why it's not warming up is because we've got these distinctive Scandinavian eastern winds coming from the Arctic. So that's why we're getting it, of course, I suppose. And then it just continues on until somewhere like so, where we may get rain with mild conditions. Surely that would help me. But I don't think the warm heatwave conditions won't be there, unfortunately to say. But we had a very nice um, time in April. I think last week was very great. Since, um, yeah, and the other week as well, the fortnight as well, the very last week of March was also nostalgic for the fact that it was miraculously um, hot as well. Uh, with 19 degrees Celsius. 19.8 degrees Celsius in uh, London, I suppose. Kew Gardens, of course. And because I live in Birmingham, temperatures don't... You know, they don't actually tend to get as hot as you would find in London. But anyways, without sounding like a dunce, what not I? <laughs> Let's just go ahead and take a look at what this blooming product is going to be all about. Yeah, it's going to be all about seagulls attacking some starfish. Yep, that's what it looks like on the back of the packaging there. They're all like Wingo from the Pokemon franchise, and it looks like they're devouring some sort of weird star you from the Pokemon franchise. I don't know why. 100% compatible with water, no fish this time, no actual fish as I'm saying in this video, just starfish and nine seagulls of course, herring gulls and lesser blackback gulls, and it's from the United of Kingdom. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being a bit idiotic though. Sorry about the dehumidifier, you can actually see it or hear it from the background there. And um, I'm not sure if I'm unpacking it, but I'm just clearly not going to deteriorate the packaging, because this is very precious indeed. And um, here are all the contents being dumped out, and I'll show you everything and anything with this product. So here's one of the starfish here. Yeah, it sort of looks pretty amazing. It does have a little red knob, which kind of sort of reminds me of Staryu. From the Pokemon franchise, if you look at it, it's got a colorization of brown. Nothing too bad or shabby about it. Same with this one here. That's another one of these. And, um, yeah, there's also another one of those. I'm just grunting here because I just feel like it's very difficult to get this one here from a very further side. And then we'll take a look at the mundane of all animals. There's this one here. It's one of the seagulls here. And it's a herring gull, of course. In fact, we've got two herring gulls here. In fact, there's another one of these there. And uh, this one here is a lesser blackback gull because you can tell of its slight grey back. And yellow feet as well. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I'm pretty sure the feet are yellow here. Okay, so it's a very nice contrast and also the slate grey back design, which looks pretty nice on the wings here. And there's also this very interesting hybrid of a herring girl and also a lesser black back girl. Now, I'm not sure if this is realistic, but it looks so, so cool. In fact, Flip Up is actually designing loads and loads of these larger type cigars. And yes, I've got my long clothes on for the fact that I'm living in the UK and it's so blooming cold. I mean, it's not as, you know, I'm pretty sure it's not as nippy as what we had from last year, being the beast from the east. Uh, but I can tell you guys, uh, we're starting to see some wintertime temperatures, which is really the only gripe that I've got with me, eh? But maybe some people are a fan of this temperature here. Nevertheless, this is one of the lesser black fat girls. Never mindable, aren't they? And they're just pretty nice. 
And then, um, because they're supposed to be designed as, you know, a bit like Wingard from the Pokemon franchise, they have these eyes which look like this. They look pretty simplistic with not much detail going on here, and this trend will continue on on the next generation of all flip-flap toys. Maybe until the next summer heat wave, if I'm pretty certain, I suppose. And I'm just sort of thinking, wow, these toys must have been um, totally nicely um, designed. And also, in the way I've been handling these birds, this is actually a very different sort of quality in the way I'm actually playing with these birds. So it sort of just makes me think, wow, how are these, you know, these birds have been made? This is actually a very different sort of paper here. If you remember the other videos I've been making, the birds are actually um, making different sounds because of the way, uh, you know, the paper which has been made. But anyways, there's another one of these. Another lesser blackback girl which has just came straight towards camera. Don't know if it looks good or bad, eh? But nevertheless, that's how it goes. Typical seagull flight cycle like that. I'm saying flight cycle is in the way the wings tend to do that in motion, I suppose. But anyways, that's just a whole bunch of craziness of seagulls attacking a starfish. How about that, eh? Nothing much to say, but these guys are all ink free for the fact there's no pen detailing on here. Or maybe there is. Or maybe you guys can tell me because I just can't tell. Maybe if I look at the starfish here, I just can't tell. One of them is literally um, painted with felt tip detailing on here. I'm not sure which one of these is the one which has got felt tip detailing on it. But nevertheless, that's possibly about it. And speaking of possibilities, the possibilities are, of course, as you may say it, they're very endless. And hopefully as I can summarise this video here, sadly the warm water is literally rest in peace and RIP. And yes, because we've got the Ash Ketchum style logos from the Pokemon franchise, I think it's very easy to tell the why I'm making these is to reflect on how bloody cold outside it is like. I mean, it just feels like the middle of winter in the UK, which feels like it's super baffling to me. But when will the, you know, I'm pretty sure the actual spring weather would actually come back. Well, I'm just hoping so. Surely, I'm just pretty sure. But anyways, hope this video has been quite a short one for seven minutes, of course, of making this very interesting rudimental video, as you may know. And please give this video a like and subscribe for more content on YouTube. And as, you know, time flies by, the weather goes warm, as always, as per usual. And hopefully, we all know, I've just learnt my lesson, that just because I can change the weather doesn't exactly mean that's the truth. Maybe I'm just being a bit too clumsy here. Anyways, thanks for watching this video, and that's probably about it. Nothing much to say.